Hi, my name is Sandeep Trivedi and I'm doing real estate for last 18 years. In most of the frequent conversations we have with clients, the main topic which comes is when to buy real estate. When? When is very important. When is not a singular thing. It's actually attributed to three different stages or parameters in one's life. To give you an example, first when is when you want to buy in what stage of your life you are. It depends upon that. It can be example of a guy who just joined a new company, a corporate sector, and he wants to start saving money and he wants to have minimum money which he can pay as down payment. And whenever he's eligible for a home loan to take care of the balance amount, he would like to book it. So when is for very early for them. They are people who wants to buy once they reach a crit critical stage, like maybe someone is getting married, he's planning to get married and he wants to start a family or he's moving to a new city and he wants to buy a new home there. Depends. So first when is very personal. Personal means when in their stage or when in their life they want to buy a real estate. There cannot be a general answer to that. It, it can vary from people to people. The second when is more macro and micro economic factors. So you know how the economy is doing, what is happening across the globe, across the country, across the state or the city where the person is. It can vary depending upon how and where he is working, in which field he is working, how he see his income growing over next 5, 7, 10 years. Is he getting the income growth what he's projecting which will be in align with the kind of money he may have to spend out for buying a home? Again, you know, it depends upon person to person which sector they are. Uh, there is no global thing like, you know, if sector is doing well or sector is doing bad. Not all sectors will do bad, equally bad or not all sectors will do equally good. So again, the second one is also very personal. It depends upon where the person is. But first two wins are very different. So first win is very personal related to the stage of the life he or she is. Second win is based on the macro or micro environment or factors. But the third and most important win is when to buy a real estate of the property or the project. Let me explain it. So in a real estate project, anywhere in India you look at, you know, typically uh, there are three stages. So the first is the launch stage. Launch is when you know the developer has a land, uh, he has control of the land, he has bought a land or he has done a joint development or he has acquired the land through various means from government or some other authorities. He has got a development plan for the land like what he wants to build, whether he wants to build an apartment or a villa or he wants to do a plot or he wants to do a mixed development whether it's a township project. So he has a full fledged development plan. He has got approval from all the concerned authorities for the development plan what he wants to do and he has enough finances in place. So all the financials, banking channels, all are tied up. He is ready to start that project. If you want to compare with, let's say, a stock market where, you know, an IPO is launched, the stock is coming into the market first time. So that is the first sale of the unit or the stock. Similarly, in real estate, this is the first sale of the house from that particular project. This may be 10, 20, 30th, 40th project of the developer. But for that particular project, this is the first sale or first time he's selling the property. So this is that's why we call it launch. You get to choose the unit which you want to buy. So you can choose, you know, what facing you want, which floor you want, whether you want a lower floor, you want a higher floor, you want a middle floor, whether you want to have east facing entrance or north facing entrance, you want a Vastu compliant home, you want your kitchen to be northeast or southeast or southwest, you want the master bedroom to be in the southwest. So all your factors can be contributed and it can be used to buy the home because options are available. A lot of people believe in numerology. So numerology is like number. So they want a particular unit number. So in the launch stage, you can still buy a house and you can choose the number of the house, whether it's adding to a particular number or the number itself is lucky for you based on your, you know, your assessment of the things. So in launch, that's the biggest advantage. Second and most important advantage is the price. The launch is always at the lowest possible price. The builder will try to sell maximum units and that's why he will price it at the lowest because that's the launch price. If it is a large development with 1000 apartment plus or maybe 1500 apartment plus, he would like to sell at least 35-40% of the inventory so that he can generate enough cash flows to take care of the development, the construction part. He don't have to borrow money from banks. Although he has tied up banks, in case of emergency, he can borrow money, working capital. But of course, he would like to get money from buyers. So in case of large projects, uh, safely we can say 35-40% of the inventory will be sold in the uh, launch stage. So it's good for developers, they get good numbers, they get good revenues. It's good for buyers also, they get a good, very good price and they get to choose their unit. Who are these buyers? 
so if you look at typically in our experience we have seen people who are very clear in terms of their financial plan you know uh, those are the people who have read you know rich dad poor dad very thoroughly and they believe in that so you know people know how to create wealth so they are not buying homes just for saying uh, staying or getting investments they want to create wealth real estate is one of the way they can create wealth a lot of traditional books if you look at in on wealth creation they focus a lot on uh, real estate and it's not only uh, asset where you will stay or live it can be a asset which can give you returns in terms of rental income or appreciation or both people know how what is their income how they are growing and they know what the outflow project is asking or the developer is asking if you pay 10% of the cost of the house as advance and then balance either you can take home loan or you can pay yourself developer will typically ask for around 8 to 10% of the house cost every 4 to 6 months so you can assume around 8 to 10 or 12 installment of 8 to 10% each over a span of around 3 and 1/2 to 4 years that's what the time frame is uh, today's time you know where developers are launching projects and they are targeting to complete the project in span of 3 to 4 years maybe 5 years some depends upon the project so people who are very clear in terms of how much they can pay now how much they can generate in next 3 to 5 years they will try to take advantage of the option of selecting the best home and the price so this is the category which is actually very suitable for people who are very clear on their financial plan and financial goal it's for them a wealth creation option developers will take around 3 to 4 months or 5 months to clear the launch phase in case you know if the project location is very good and the pricing is very attractive you know it can be sold within a month also we have seen developers selling like full launch quota or launch inventory within a couple of weeks itself so it all depends upon that it will take around 3 to 6 months to clear the inventory which is launched uh, developers will target to sell at least 35 to 40% during the launch so that's the quota and most of the cases they know what price points what is the pricing they should launch so that they can achieve their sales velocity so whatever number of units are there they divide by number of months they want to complete and that's their target sales velocity and they know based on the market at what price they should launch so that they can achieve that sales velocity it's it's working very fine it's very scientific people do a lot of calculations and then accordingly plan and launch the projects i would say it's a very good opportunity to enter the launch stage if you want to get the best unit of your choice and at the best price once the developer has completed the, the launch you know the moment he has cleared his quota of selling whatever units is decided to launch he'll stop the launch he'll not be aggressively marketing you know uh, of course he'll be selling people he'll be willing to sell if anyone is coming to the site and willing to book the unit but he will not be aggressively marketing it probably he'll move to other properties there will be sales team and the team sitting on the side they will cater to clients who are coming uh, in the stage when the launch is over so that stage is known as sustenance stage after the launch which is 6 month till 3 3 and 1/2 years time just before the position the sustenance phase is there so it is a period of around 2 and 1/2 3 3 and 1/2 years where you know organically people who wants to buy that particular project will come and buy they would like to book the unit there are advantages of that so you know imagine a person who don't want to book the house in launch because he is not sure about the developer or the project the location how the project will be taken whether the builder will be able to sell it or not after the launch when 35 40% of the inventory is sold it is validated you know people are looking for validation for uh, property like whether the project is right or not the validation can be from let's say uh, other buyers who booked in the launch so assuming a property have around 1000 flats and if 300 people have booked already it's a great validation you know it's a validation from people who have booked the flats telling this is the property you should buy it. of course a lot of people will take home loan in launch so when the home loan is done and the banks had done due diligence it's a validation of legal aspect so a lot of people who are not sure about the legal aspect they don't understand but they want a validation from banks multiple banks it's a good phase to enter like sustenance may you have a validation from buyers where people have bought in large numbers there's a validation from let's say uh, bankers who have approved the project the work is also started so you know the construction work is going on you, you can physically see a lot of people when they go for sustenance purchase they actually go to site and see how much floors they have done they compare you know what builder promised during the launch like in 6 months 1 year 2 year how many slabs they'll do how many floors they'll do they check if they find the progress on a decent level they'll book it so for them that's also validation on the construction part you know the large amount of construction risk is mitigated so they know they are entering in the right project with the right developer 
so who are the people who will buy during sustenance see these are the people who don't want to take risk or they don't want to risk the money they have with them they want to be sure about the property if it is purchased by x number of people it's validated it's a successful launch they have a good pricing of course the price is increased but they are okay to pay that additional price it is still not the top price or the best price of course the price will be highest when the property is ready to move in so there is upside which is still there so people who are coming at sustenance they know they are buying at a price which is higher than the launch but still you know there is a scope of going upside we had lot of cases like that so in fact we have sold one unit which was during launch was sold for around 1.4 cr we transfer that property during the sustenance phase to another buyer at 1.6 cr but when the property was ready in around a span of 4 years actually it was so finally sold at 2 crores so you know the value creation is done value is added as and when the time is increasing the value is increasing the value is added to the property people who are ready to pay double outflow like they are ready to pay the interest component of the home loan during construction as well as the rent for their property current property they are okay to pay a lump sum money which is like due by that stage when they are entering the property so in a sustenance phase even if you enter after one year you may have to shell out at least 55 to 60 percent the property value because by that time it is this much is due. Of course, another 50 percent will take another two years, three years. But then they are ready to shell out that money, pay interest on that if they are taking home loan or their own money, also to continue to pay the rent where they are staying right now, or to lose the opportunity to rent the property if they own the property and staying there. So it's a segment which is very clear in terms of financial why they are entering at that stage. So someone who is val- looking for validation from people. for the property for the developers from the banks from the lawyers as well as who's ready to wait for another one or two years till he gets the possession in his hand both strategies are good you know i'll say depends you know at what stage you are you know both are good you know people do all over uh, investments but i have seen around 40% of the sales happen within launch 25 to 30% or less happens during the sustenance and the balance happens during the last stage what we call is ready to move in property Ready to move in property is very interesting because you know that's the stage where normally builders will keep some units, uh, say 20 or 25 percent of the inventory, to be sold at that stage because that time the pricing will be highest. They can command a premium because of course they have delivered the property. People can see the property, they can see the value, the kind of amenities which are there. Everything is ready. So the pricing is typically highest when the property is ready. When I say property is ready, means it is. fully constructed all the amenities are done they have applied to government they have either received the occupancy certificate or it is coming in maybe few weeks so it's almost ready that's when the property price will be highest of course there is no gst also because ready property after the oc is received there is no gst component but still you know pricing will be attractive for builders it's very good for people who wants to just move in for their own house so they they can just do interiors which will take around 2 to 3 months so people who don't want to pay rent and emi together because now the property is ready so it's not only interest if you register the property you have to start paying emi bank will start emi not only interest so interest part is over but emi and rental is still going on or people who are ready to pay both rental and emi for 2 3 4 months till the interiors are done this is the best opportunity there may be some issue in terms of you not getting the best property or options you may not getting the vastu what you're looking at because best of the options are already over but still sometimes you are if you are lucky you know some investors who actually entered at launch stage they don't want to continue they may want to sell it or they want to exit before registration if you're lucky you may get a good unit even then but of course the price will be high so it is the stage where people actually buy to move in This is not the stage where people will buy for rental income. If you are looking for rental income and appreciation, you should enter at a launch stage. But if you are looking for self-use and you don't want to pay both rental and EMI, this is the time you should invest. So, ready-to-move-in properties again are in good demand. Typically, developer will sell around 25-30 percent of the inventory during ready-to-move-in, or if it is already sold fully, if the property is really good. you may still find some resale happening like some investors who have entered at a launch stage at a lower price maybe they don't want to continue with the property they want to book profit they want to sell it they may exit so typically what we have seen is around 30 40% of the inventory will come for resale either directly from developer or it may be a resale from investors so these three stages are very distinct so you know all the three stages are you know perfectly fine depends upon you you know person to person he or she at what stage they want to enter if you want to actually really take advantage of the price and the option of selecting the right unit you know launch is the 
time when you should buy if you are want to get a validation from lawyers and builders and fellow buyers you know you should buy in sustenance you should wait and see if the work is going as per progress or not but if you want to just move in there you don't want to see anything just want to see the actual property then you ready to move in you, you pay some premium no problem but you are getting getting a property immediately you may have to shell out full money whether it's self funding or home loan but you may get the property immediately within 2 3 months and you can stay there and move in there enjoy the new home it all depends upon you know what your plan is you know how you want to take it it's a very personal decision so you know i, I there's no right or wrong there's no yes or no for each stages you decide based on your requirement and what what uh, stage you are in what you are looking at from the property you know it's always good to enter but then these three stages are very broad and we can try and give data to the clients in terms of what will fit their requirement so as i said the first two when is more dependent upon the markets and their personal life but the third when is very very uh, generic and you know these are the categories which we have seen across cities across properties across developers how people decide when is important one thing which i have seen personally is people who come and do conversations about properties with the open mind they get the best of property and best of the deals if you come with the mindset of doing negotiations you know instead of communication or conversations the mindset will be biased towards getting the best deal only from financial perspective sometimes we have seen even if you get the property at a lower price but it may not be the best property from vastu perspective or view perspective from our floor perspective they they have repercussions so you know our our advice will be always to have a open conversation from all perspective you should talk to your friends your neighbors who are bought bankers your lawyers your colleagues from an office have open conversation before you make a decision talk to experts in the industry and get the expert advice and then do the decision making so now you know how important it is when you know all the stages whether you want to enter at a launch stage or sustenance stage or ready to move in you decide where you fit in and take a decision thank you